bury the hatchet. <laughs> um, excuse me? Excuse me. Can you not hear me with that mask on? I'll just take it off for you then. No, I hear you just fine. Eh, then you could have at least shown some sort of reaction. Like, I'm ready to serve you, master, or something. What sort of place does this person think a gas station is? Anyway, I really need that drink. I can see it right behind you on that shelf, so... <laughs> Be a pal and get it for me, KK? <laughs> the fuck? Man, it's too early for this. Interact with the shelf behind you using Z or enter. Oh wow, this is sick. The legendary shelf she was referring to. I'm not paying for you just to look at it actually, pick it up for me. Just go on and grab it, okay? You got beer. I interact with it again? Got lighter. What if I give her a lighter? Um, like, are you like too weak to pick up a can of beer? <laughs> You're super strong and buff and whatever, right? You're not too delicately weak to handle it, right? Knife? Can I stab her? What? out of place, I get it. Not touch. The bathroom stall, I don't get paid enough to clean it, so I usually keep it locked up. I had insured my debit card years ago, I could withdraw stuff from here. Oh well. Special collaboration beer with Idol Miracle Shine. <laughs> Ma'am, I just got the one you were pointing at. You just want me to be miserable, don't you? Like the rest of the horrid world, I'm a curse to live in. Holy shit. So get on with it then. Checking you out? Of course, ma'am. I mean, get on with checking in the back, find me my actual beer already. I'm surely in there, right? It's a magical forbidden place. Surely my magical beer is in there as well. Besides, can't show up to a college party without it, haha. <laughs> sure, ma'am, I'll go check. 
Here's that so ma called magical back room. I should at least pretend to check her on so she doesn't lose her mind when I come back without it. Oh my god. Ooh, who's this? Well, what do you knew? Guess who was here all along? Funny, I didn't notice it beforehand. No, I'm still not grabbing it. She can kick rocks. Who's this? This body right here, huh? Well, no such thing as a body. I should at least pretend to rummage around. I'm no rush to feeling her at least. Okay. Flyers for a movie coming out this weekend. More of the managers were knickknacks. Full of dust to bunnies. Manager stuff, don't care, not interested. What's this? It's supposed it supposedly expired certain, but it still tastes good to me. Further back there's more storage. I don't need to go back there right now. About this dead body right here, huh? Or do I actually need to grab the soda out of the dress? Okay, it's so cringe. What if I just don't want to give her soda? Alright. <laughs> dead. There you go. And here's. And there it is, finally, after five gazillion years. Any longer and I'd have called for your manager. And you would hate that, wouldn't you? It's not as if he cares most of the time, but him coming in today would be not ideal. Appreciate the gesture, ma'am. Now, that'll round up to payment. I know, I know, don't worry, pleb. <laughs> Keep the change. She didn't even pay enough. Ugh. Well, I'd better clean up the mess back there before anyone else comes in. What a... Uh, I guess it... Clean, clean. Hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Let's get you all cleaned up, huh? Keeping you here wouldn't be my first choice normally. But you're gonna need... But you're going to need to wait till after my shift. For now. That'll do. Time for six more hours of the... This mask is... Gah. Fuck it, I'll just... There we go. Got some dust stuck up in there or something. My god. Guess she needs to die. You. You killed Courtney. This sucks. Two of them? Two bodies that I need to store in the back room? And, and you've got that scar on your face. I don't think anyone else in the store right now, so if I'm quick about it, it should be fine. Then that must it means you must be. Alrighty, here goes. That. Absolutely wicked and awesome bear water grizzly killer, aren't you? I'm like your number one fan! Uh... I mean, okay, Hellspawn32 claims he's your biggest fan because he actually went to the side of the first murder you laid. You actually laid claim to, but I'm calling bull on that one. <laughs> and now that I've actually met you, so that's nothing compared to whatever parasocial lunacy he's on. Huh? Besides, in my opinion, I'm in the camp that believes that the trailer park killings weren't on you. Cause like, look, see, give me a sec. Rummaging fervently. Here we go. As we can see from one of the first newspaper clippings of the event, the cuts were all crisscrossed, and that's your whole thing. Can't you make your debut without your signature prepared? I can't make your debut without your signature prepared, right? No, those were me. Uh, really? Damn it. Well, if he doesn't know he won the bet, I don't know him, right? I... Okay, never mind. That. Listen, kid. I am not a kid. I'm 21 years young! Which is the thing that old people say once they're trying to deny the fact that they're old, so I must be old. Hehe. <laughs> so what's your name? 
My na- Oh yeah, I'm Pearl! Pearl? God damn it. This is such a... Oh, whatever. It's literally the biggest honor to be able to meet you. I know I seem chiller than chill, but I'm really bugging right now. There you are. So, you're not going to sell me out? Huh? Are you for real silly? I mean, sorry. But why the hell did I do that? I'm meeting my idol right now. Or at least, I think I am. You've got the right scars, but Courtney's body doesn't seem to be all hatcheted. In fact, it seems way more knife-stabbed. I didn't get the wrong guy, did I? <laughs> no, it's still me. Okay! <laughs> FYI, I'm the creator of your... Geosities fan page? It's all of me, if you were curious. Not exactly a coder, so paying someone to do that took a pretty penny. <laughs> okay, whatever, just give me a second to think about this. Ah, of course. Of course! I'm clearly excited. <laughs> yeah, you can live. Oh my god! Yay! I mean, if you wanted to kill me, it would definitely be the best way to go out. My only request that would be you don't hide my body so that I'm the news. But, I get to stay alive! Yippee! <laughs> I've got some questions to ask you about the girl, though. Oh, Courtney? You're not planning on keeping her here, right? I mean, good thing uh, that I was the one who wandered in here. But if you're not mo if you're not careful, someone else get a nice eye full of her. And um, you know, not like other girls. Heh. <laughs> so fucking stupid. So they won't have the same reaction as me. <laughs> I agree. That's why I. Um, you mean we, right? <laughs> please let me hide the body. Please, please, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> kid, I don't have the time for this. Not a kid. <laughs> Whatever. Listen, I understand I'm the one, <coughs> I'm the one of modern capitalism. You can't do your shift out of body at the same time, right? Two people are better than one. The more people involved, the more tongues I might wag. Come on, you think I'd rat you out? Really? You will brag on some form that you helped me hide a body? That's what I thought. Hey, is there anyone actually working here? Hello? Might as well walk off with all that stuff then. Please, please, at least let me mop up the blood, please. Okay, fine, just... Yes, yes, yes! Keep quiet. Oh, okay. Rock on, Dish. This floor will be clean as a whistle when you come back. Obviously, she needs to die, but later rather than sooner. She's useful for now, and I'm on the clock. If only killing paid better. Um, hello, hello! I need help over here. I need help here. Please! Uh, yeah, come. Alright, what do you want? Hey, give us all your money. There's two of them? We're not afraid to put up a fight. Come on, open the cash register. What will you do if I don't? Well, uh, well, we'll beat you up. Okay, go ahead. Ah, uh, you're too intimidating, and you have a mask, too. It's no fair. Get us an energy drink to even out the odds. Just a sec.
walkie talkie. Okay. I'll change this forever and <laughs> it's just so bad at night or something. Okay. Hey, uh, you got anything special in the back room? You get my drift. Is he onto something? I'm sure it's like super easy to sneak a in grass like into a drop like this, right? I'll uh, pay a lot. None of that, sorry. Gummies? I'll just convince myself they're edible. Alright, so how do I look at my item? Item. Behind the counter, under the counter. Uh, magazine shelf, snack shelf, car shelf, and drink. Tablets, snacks, probably the snacks in here. So, super sour buttons. <laughs> here you go, bro. Here you go. $2.79, please. Hope this makes up for things. Haha, uh -huh, bet it will. Happy Halloween, Mask Madam. Phew! It's starting to slow down. Should be able to check in on Pearl after this group clears out. Huh? Oh my god. Hey yo, I'll be taking three of these, please. Okay, that'll be 12.34, sir. Got it, got it. I know what's going on with you, though. What you must be thinking right now. Buying three boxes of chocolate? Man! I must be on my cheat day or something. No, 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 no. It's much worse. You see... My girl is mad at me. <laughs> I see. Just look at how cute she is. I don't know what I did to tick her off, but she didn't pick up any of my calls this morning. We always call together during breakfast. We never skip swinging on the flippity flop. And on Halloween of all days. What about our <laughs> outfit coordination? We needed to decide that stuff together on the morning itself. I must have done something absolutely unforgivable to piss her off. Whatever the crime, I hope that this will begin to show some of my remorse to Courtney. Well, I'll see her during class. If I cry in front of her, hopefully she'll take me back. Anyway, happy Halloween! Uh... That stain on the door there, is that a... It's that time of the month. Uh, my bad. I'm playing a game. Oh, I thought you were talking about I thought you were just saying to your friend that you had a girlfriend. I need to talk to Pearl. Skippity bop. Hey Pearl, question for you. Oh my gosh, of course. Anything I can do to be a service to. This girl, you said her name was Courtney, right? Yep. And was she dating anyone? Uh, not yet. Or I guess never now. But she and Brendan were goo goo for each other. Vomit inducing, if you ask me. Frickin' metrosexuals. I'm stupidly excited to see his face when he finds out, though. Heh. <laughs> what do you ask? I'm fairly certain I saw, saw him run. <coughs> I'm fairly certain I saw him just now. Oh my god, really? Uh, he's got really bad roots. Some of the most pathetic guys I've seen in my life. Big pink jacket? Ah, uh, yeah, that tacky thing, as always. More concerningly, he saw blood leaking out from under the door. I paid it, I played it off, but once he realized she's actually missing. Eh, don't sweat it, he's far too numbskull to remember. Anyway, we've bonded now, gotten to know each other. I've helped you hide a body and all. <laughs> and now you owe me, so. Oh, you, you begged me to let you help me. You gotta come to one of our shows, okay? What? Please, you owe me. I gotta go deal with. Please, 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 please. To be completely honest, hear about it before you kill her. <laughs> Need to focus hiding about the body. Let's hear about it. Yeah. Let's just focus on hiding the body. 
Look, we can talk about it after we clean up this mess. Whatever I owe you then, I owe you. But there's bigger problems to be had right now. Okay. Glad we're on the same page. Hand me that saw, would you? We saw the body in silence, which I think is uncharistic of Pearl. Maybe I just don't know her well enough. That's all her limbs hacked off. Man, man, oh man, oh man! Getting to see the Fairwater Grizzly Killer work in person is such a dream. Wait till XX Bunch fan 54XX finds out. Uh, I mean, not that I would tell anyone. Of course. Of course! Having a special little secret between the two of us is far more special. What's far more special is not getting caught. Listen, I need to stay at the gas station for the rest of my shift. And that's going to last all the way into the evening. Afterwards, we're going to use your... Wait, wait, wait. Be a part of your plan? Yes, I mean, you are already a part of it, aren't you? Well, we're using your case to transport the body. It's Halloween, so props like that can pass without suspicion. Nice that you made it work with your costume. Huh? Costume? This is how I always dress. And my case already has a bit has a big baby in it, okay? Your baby? My guitar! Well you can't just Damn it. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'll work on finding some new way to transfer the body while you serve customers, okay? Leave it to old Pearl. I ah, oh, whatever. I'll be back. Please do. Don't even fret it. I'm gonna come with the best honey hiding method ever. Not to brag, heh. My art teacher in Alamarty said that I was a pleasure to have in class. Yeah, well, I don't think that's what. I don't think that's a good thing, actually. I think that's a bad thing. In a box? Go back this one. It's just the same dialogue. What do you want? I can take a second to catch my breath if I need to. Cupsner shouldn't bother me until I start messing around with the counter at the very least. Alright, what do you want? Eep! A monster! Kitty, protect me! Um... Kitty, do something! I'm not a monster, this is a mask. I guess she should be scared though. Oh, okay, in that case... Oh, well, you calm down quick. Your voice sounds friendly. Did you get some milk for me and my kitty? It's the last ingredient we need for a special Halloween potion. It's going to turn into a great warrior. He didn't seem to protect you, Mass, now. I know, he's helpless. I'm sure the milk will help. I don't know where it is. Go get it. Help me, please. Sure thing. Alright, get the milk. Got milk. I got milk. There you go. That'll be one dollar fifty-eight. Hey, thank you. I'll go make my potion now. Can I use your bathroom? Thank you. Repeat that, could you? I need to pee. I urgently need to pee. Please let me pee. Let me get that key for you. Oh my god, thank you. Hurry! Don't get too excited. Don't want to mess in this place. Have I seen this guy's face before? There you go. Hey, before you go, are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Halloween, thank you. Oh, and he's gone. Hello, so what can I get you? Happy Halloween. Yippee! Yippee yay yay! I love Halloween! I'm really getting to the spirit this year! I'm dressing up as something really spooky! A cop! Boo! Anything you need? This could all be played. I really wanna get into this costume. Wanna get me a serial killer related tabloid pronto? I'll point at it and. and, and, and discuss their irredeemable utility. Wouldn't that really sell my costume? I'll get that tabloid for you. Oh shit, what? Oh my god, where the fuck do we get a tabloid? Oh my god! Sig. Oh boy. How the fuck do we get a tabloid? Oh 
Oh, good. Save. How the fuck? Where the, where the hell is the serial killer? Ta oh, tablet. Okay. Uh, this one. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> Holy shit. Close one. Not even close, actually. Sniff. Oh, Tim. I would like to return this. These open boxes of chocolates? No, I don't think we can do that, sir. But I couldn't even give them to my girl. She wasn't even at school today. I asked all her friends, but no one had seen her. Ma'am. My girl is so mad at me. She doesn't want to be around me at all. How can I repair a broken heart? I'm so miserable. Sorry to hear all of that, sir. It's not like someone like you would ever understand what I'm going through. Oh. Hey, Grizz! I blinged out this old box you had back there, too. Oh, Brandum. Pearl, stupid, uh, stupid Pearl. I see that your band's really, truly selling well, if this is where you've ended up. You've got the whole Tom Tom Club over here. Hmm, at least I have a club. Seems like even Lanny's ditched you in your rat's nest of a haircut. Hey! Whatever's going on between Courtney and I is none of your business, Lambstain. Shouldn't you be more worried about getting all of that gross, uh, whatever it is that is on your boots off? Uh-huh. Hey, Brandum, do you want to know what's on me? Because I think you promised that you'll hate the answer. Let's raise it as... And it's my lunch break, so you can go now. What? Good day, sir. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, I'll get out of your hair. Kill her. Kill her. Heh, <laughs> did you see the look on his face? Pathetic. Any- What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, what? Telling him that we killed his girlfriend right in front of his face? Ooh. The body is right there, right there, just a few steps away. It's the middle of the day, he makes a fuss of things. It's over, we're caught and shipped off. I don't know what stupid little vendetta you guys have with each other, but you need to stop it. Get yourself together and actually do what I say. Oh, okay. Because that's what you want too, right? Just for me to shut up and obey you? To do what you want? Ah, oh, freaking figures that you're all the same. Whatever. Should I go after her? Give her some space. Yeah, I'm going for like the shit ending. Let's give her some space. She'll probably tire herself and get over it. I uh, what? Well, if someone ends up coming into the back, that'll be super duper bad, right? I mean, of course, so bear traps. And you didn't happen to have stolen them from the manager's stash, did you? So long as the manager stash wasn't that box of them lying around in the back, yeah. Come on, if we actually end up using them, we can reset and clean them up. No one will be the, any the wiser. I... Fair enough. Speaking of which, I should actually work on packing the body up into my wonderfully bedazzled box. Rock on. God, she's gotten herself back in a good mood. Next wave of customers is probably gonna hit any second now, so back to the grind. So what about that guy in the bathroom? What the fuck? Is he still in the bathroom? <laughs> Alright, let me check it out. She just goes up. What the fuck is that? You know I've got this handled. He seems sad. The little bro. So there's a tabloid, snacks, and uh, gas. Gas. Headlight fluid, tire kit, gasoline. Okay. So, hey, how you doing? 
I'm fine. Man, my car broke down. I'm totally sick of cars, man. My girlfriend, she's amazing. Got me into the whole fairy girl lifestyle. She even picks bread for me and stuff. She's a perfect chick. <laughs> she got you into the cowboy outfit for Halloween, I bet. Heh, <laughs> yeah. I'm an investment banker, but she wants me to be a bit more, uh... Now my goddamn tires broke down. Help a guy out and fetch some tire repair thingy for me, okay? I'll give you a bonus and everything. Okay, so it's probably here, right? Tire kit. That'll do. There you go, man. There you go, 921, please. Keep the change. Man, maybe I'll drive real far away. It's way deep into this country that this thing in my lady. Who am I kidding? I love money too much. Well, my girl's waiting. See ya. Oh god. Hello, benevolent service worker. How can I help you? Absolutely brilliant to see the masses participating in All Hallows Eve. Sure. How can I help you? Mass may, may you assist me with something deeply private? The truth is, I, I... Can you give me a tabloid discussing the latest news on societies of on those that influence and define our cultural norms. A celeb tabloid? You want a pop star tabloid? We have plenty. Yes, I know that they are very... Yes. I know that they are addictive of low culture. My, the gorgeous bodies on display and most riveting similarities captivate me. I am the masses. We're not so different, you and I. I'm not so sure. Let me get that tabloid for you. Can I like grab it from the back? This Rockstar article. That should do, right? Hey, isn't that the piss guy from earlier today? Here you go, until your degenerate tabloid. Ah, your words are a poison quill upon the parchment of my flesh. 984, please. And my wallet, too! Goodbye! Bruh. Hi. Hello. Hey. What can I get you? Woohoo! You didn't say happy Halloween! We hate Halloween. We're protesting against it. Your costume seemed to suggest otherwise. Well, we didn't hate Halloween a few hours ago. But we ate way too much candy and we threw up. Can you believe of us? All three of us threw up! What if it was that, guys? So now we hate Halloween. Bruh. But we need your help to stop it. Give us water, now. How will that end a centuries long tradition exactly? We're replacing hollow whatever that is, with something more crucial to the human essence. That's right, water green. Humans need water, so we're starting water green. Bruh, that's so stupid. Is it here? That's a gear lighter and safe. Water. Water. Oh, water. I'm kinda curious what happens if you fail. Water ween will reign supreme. Need water to live. Water ween. 113, please. Pennies for the beginning of a revolution. Water ween. So stupid. These children. Ah. I'm so sick of doing this everywhere. What, buying crap at a gas station? And you can't even be cordial about it. Give me info on missing people, okay? Did you make it disappear? Because you're a magician? I want to try and join Halloween despite all this stuff going on in my life, okay? Please go fetch that tablet for me, alright? I deserve to live a normal life. So is this like the mother of Courtney or something? Missing person paper. There you go, ma'am. Same as always, no info to find. The rabbit to my magician. I'll pull you out of my hat soon enough. Ooh. I think she's gonna she's gonna find you. It's raining, huh? It's a bummer for any trick-or-treaters, I guess. I guess it's time to check. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Did something happen? I freaking dropped Courtney. Uh, well, it seems like she's still inside. Huh. 
<laughs> Let's let her handle it. She probably doesn't mean me to dent her ego anymore. So are you just gonna stand there? I'm sure my messing up is super entertaining. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. Pearl cleans up the mess while I busy myself with other things. Don't shout. Give me a sec. Okie dokie. Welcome and whatever, how can I? Uh, haha, <laughs> hi again. Sorry to bother you, I just, uh, I wanted to talk to Pearl if that was possible. She's not here. Oh, is that the case? Haha. <laughs> Listen, I'm kind of stressed, you know? I called Courtney's parents because we're chill and all, but... They said that she left home early to get some last minute costume supplies or something, and just never came back. They assumed she had to go straight to the school after buying stuff, but, uh, she didn't. No one's seen her at all, all day, no matter how much I ask. Only person that's so much has joked about seeing her is Pearl, so even though it's probably a stretch, I gotta ask, you know? If you know where she went or whatever, that'd be great. Just being pointed in the right direction, please? Yeah, beats me. Really? Yeah, I don't know, sorry. Ah, okay, Th thanks anyway. I'll Coming in that walkie-talkie I asked for earlier. It's me, Pearl, the one and only. Can I have some help back here again, please? Ah, uh, you freaking liar, huh? Hey, wait a sec. Let me through. It's just all calm down, okay? I just want to talk to Pearl. It's no big deal, okay? <coughs> Shit. I need to find something to deal with him now. Oh fuck! Ah, uh, the Bowie knife. Grab that. Okay, stab his ass. <laughs> Tell him. Pearl, are you? I see. You. Um, hi? Co Courtney? Yeah, she's. Haha, <laughs> yeah, deader than a doornail. I'm super sorry, or something, but. <laughs> I'm super sorry, or something, that this is how you found out, but, like, hey! Plenty of fish in the sea, right? <laughs> I honestly would dwell on it too much. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! I'm seriously, for real, going to kill you! <laughs> I knew you were a sick freak, but the take. Hey, you, you just tried to kill me, didn't you? <laughs> Freaking jock types. You can't just make this easy, can you? You, you bitch! You, you think you are gonna stop me fr from getting out here and getting the fucking cops? Ha! I'm the first pick quarterback, I'll have you know. You, you and what you did to Co Courtney, fuck! Oh, shut up. Oh, oh god, I, I, I gotta get out of here. Can't let him get out, that's like, soup's bad. I know that, Pearl. These kids. Okay, save the game. Hunt him down. At least we're running towards that red door, isn't he? Damn it, he got away. Game over. Okay, let's try again. If he's gonna run to the door, I can just like... Wait, what? How does this work? Do I have to race him to the door? <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. SHIT! Yay, you stabbed him! Not well enough, seriously. You jock types. You, you, you fr fr frickin' chuckle-headed pieces of shit! Aw, uh, guess so. He's slinking off now. Don't worry, he's not getting far at this point. Come on. The door. No, 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 no. Damn it, damn, damn it. This can't, this needs to open. It needs to. Listen, kid. Fuck off. It's really nothing personal. In fact, I'd prefer not to do this. But you and I both know you wouldn't be able to keep your mouth shut, so this is how it's going to have to be. Heh, <laughs> yeah, Grizz is gonna kill you dead! Pearl. Sorry, zipping mouth. You, you, too, you've got to be buggin'. How, how, how can you, how can you act so, so, so pretentious? You fucking killed my girl, and for what?
Oh, all that people, I, all that people li like you guys are good at ruining is what the fuck? All, all that people like you guys are good at ruining his lives. What the hell did she, did I do wrong? Like for real? Was it the wrong place, wrong time? Did she say something to tick you off? Seriously, why'd she have to die? Huh? What you looking at? That thing? Th this thing? A hatchet? That- that's- Ha! Ha ha ha! You don't like me grabbing hold of this, huh? Ha! Ha ha ha! You- you too. You're weak enough, right? And I'm strong enough. I if it's Avenge Courtney, I- I c can God, you won't shut up, will you? I'll just need to help you with that, I guess. Wait, Pearl! Take this! N no! Uh oh, I've got, gotta, I've gotta say, that was exceptionally stupid of you. Stupid Pearl. L let go of me! <laughs> you seriously bit me? Gr gross ass! But, but I. You. <laughs> fr freaking got you, you freak! You absolute brickhead! Well, Grizz, was it? I I'll do it! I'll kill her! I'll do it! You know I will. I'd have done it before this, but now that this freak show's gone and now that Courtney's my girl. Get over here! She's been dead for hours, you loser! Shut up. <laughs> you. You freaking monster. You are going to let me out of here alive. You are going to open the door and let me out the back, or she gets it. Or, ha, huh, wait, rude of me to assume you actually care about her, right? She's a freak after all, even by your standards. Regardless, if you care at all about having blood on your hands anymore, you'll... Whatever, what's it gonna be? Nah, fuck you, don't give him the keys. I can't let you leave here no matter what. So no keys? You're fine with stupid Pearl dying then? Whatever. Do it. Ha. Think I won't? I will. I really, really will. Is that so? Then do it. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! See? I did it! I actually... Huh? Damn it. One was hard enough, but three of them? Guess they always need to work out this way. Better get started then. First time was an accident. The second and third were too. Fourth time, the fifth, the sixth. Not so much. At some point I began to wonder if my capacity for it all was endless. Held no ill will against these people. Did not kill them because I enjoyed it. I did not even kill them for any sort of reward. People kept dying by my hatchet because it was convenient. They'd practically fall onto it. In the end, it wasn't even any sort of mortality that's caused me to stop. Killing, if you're realistic about it, just doesn't pay well. Ah, miss, please do come in. We're very excited to interview you. Your application was very strong. Honestly, somewhat unrealistically so. Haha. <laughs> but we need all the help we can get around this season. You seem wonderful. That, that being said, I must ask, are you feeling sick? If you're under the weather, we can reschedule this for later. Why do I ask? You're wearing that medical mask after all. Ah, oh, well, it isn't money my business. They only end up asking around here a week into the investigation because someone remembers Brandon mentioned returning the chocolates he got. They only mention Cor they mention Courtney in passing during questions. Only sign anyone noticed that Pearl is missing is a crappy handmade poster her bandmates put up. Bad end capacity. That's a good end right there. Give him the keys. All right, sure. Don't. And you can have it then. By your feet. Gah! Holy shit! I'll seriously get to leave. Bruh. 
<laughs> you little. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, you did it! You did it! You be be careful. Uh, hey, are you okay? Hey. Ah, that hurts. Okay, I'm gonna get you out. Okay. I can. No, it's fine. Wasn't looking where I was stepping, huh? Guess I should have paid more more attention to you, huh? Okay. Phew. Alright, you listen. Sh should I sell your foot off? I, I can do it. I if I just cl close my eye. Shut up and listen. Listen to me, alright? No one knew you were here, right? You didn't tell anyone? No, but... And I don't think anyone saw you during my shift. Okay. Yeah. Take, take the keys, open the back door, and then toss them under once you go. I can close it up after you and... Uh, leave you to die? I'm not going to die. I'm just... Stuck. But, but nothing. You can hide yourself easy. No one's going to try and find what they're not looking for. I've been doing this solo for years now. It'd be weird to start now. But what about when they find you? I'll have to deal with being found, I guess. Now go. Go now! Back then, on that day, I couldn't make myself open up my umbrella. It just kept coming down and down and down. Let the rain wash away everything. In that sense, I was probably being selfish. There wasn't anyone there to see me. But regardless, I couldn't use that umbrella to hide from the night sky. I needed it all gone. I needed the blood not just hidden, but destroyed. Something, something. It's better to be hated than forgotten. I don't really agree with that. But it doesn't look like I have a choice in that anymore. Ah, bad luck. Bad end. It did <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I forgot to narrate this. After all, if the band's called Death of Venus, it's destined that the person named Pearl lead it, right? Since that Venus chick came out of an oyster and all. Oh, did you guys inherit the band and his name from someone else? What? No, I named it and founded it. Huh. Anyway, we've got big plans coming up. Amy's brother works at Dickens. Why is it fucking Dinkin? Duncan? And he's trying to pull some strings so he can perform there sometime. We've been preparing for so long. <coughs> so actually getting to perform in front of people. I'm so buzzed I can hardly stand it. Glad for you. Hey, can you pass me that rag? Oh, oh of course. Hey, well, well, I have you here. Can I run a few lyrics by you? I'm not exactly a lyricist. Uh, the words themselves aren't the point. It's all about the emotions. Let me know if this speaks to you at all. Ahem. Walk the line, keep in step, do it all, no misstep. Still you look and you frown, no matter what in your mind, I'm always down. So? Oh, is that all? For now, it's obviously a work in progress. But, um, what do you think? Pass me the bucket first? Okay. Well, you rhyme step with misstep. Yeah, of course, because they rhyme. Well, besides, what about the emotions? My emotions! Or I mean, could be anyone's emotions. Listen, Kate, Pearl, there's no point in being so anxious over my opinion. If you're writing lyrics about, <laughs> about feeling judged, why do you want others to judge them? So the feeling that I hate being judged gets across. Yes, this is pretty standard young person angst then. <laughs> I'm so glad I could talk to you about it. There, that's all our limbs hacked off. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man! Getting to see Bearwater Grizzly Killer or <laughs> such a dream. Right, I think this is all the same. Go after her. Um, 
Hey, sorry if I stood on some toes earlier. It's just you do understand why telling you, telling people you're hiding Courtney's body right now is bad, right? Shh. Duh. Hey Grizz, question for ya. Hmm? Do you actually think we can hide Courtney's body? Because like, maybe I'm wrong and you've actually successfully hidden a body in the past, but given how every body of yours they find seems to be a, sh a shodier and shodier attempt at hiding it, I don't think that's the case, right? All of this extra work that you, <laughs> you're putting into dismembering her and stuff feels kind of desperate almost. I think the truth is, you're pretty bad at hiding bodies. You can hide that <laughs> it was you. I'm pretty sure. You're pretty good at managing to detach yourself from the problem at hand. But the problem at hand stays. And so you're still here too. That's why your hatchet is nowhere to be found, right? No one is going to find Courtney's body. So don't worry about it. Okay. Yay! You know what you're doing far more than I do. So I'll trust you. In that case, protection is key, right? Which is why we've got... These... Bear traps. Yep. From your case? Nah, I'm just keeping him here for a second. For convenience. I found him lying around the back. Are they not yours? No. The manager's really into hunting. Hmm, I see. Anyway, I think it'd be wrong not to make use of them. We gotta make... Gotta help them make use of their life's purpose. Having all these traps over there. Okie dokie. Anyway, so like, there's this thing that's really, really strange. I'm gonna vent to you about it. And right back at it, like nothing happened. Good for her. Sure, tell me about it while I set up the traps. Sure thing, boss. So like, there are four members of my band, right? Including me. I forget if I mentioned that already. Wall? Uh-huh. But the problem is, Amy is like, honestly, really, really mediocre at drums. And that, and that, that, and she doesn't show up half the time. <coughs> uh-huh. Pass me another trap. Yep, yep. And I heard from someone somewhere that when you're working in a creative field, you need to be two of three things, okay? Pleasant to work with, always on time, and be absolutely amazing at what you do. And like, love her to death, but the only thing Amy's good at freaking making is making freaking amazing strawberry ramen off. Like, seriously, I'd kill for it. Uh-huh. Pass me another one. Yep, yep. But basically, it's only a matter of time before I break the news to her. But I don't want anyone else to ask to do it instead. And we can't be without a drummer. That's, like, lame. So I was thinking, after all this, since you have the arms for it, what if you wanted to do it? Uh-huh. Pass me another... Oh my god, really? I figured that I need to convince you, but this is so awesome. <laughs> it's... Nope, sorry, I misspoke. Huh? Thought you said something else, you know. Can't be doing that. But you already said yes! And now I'm saying no. What the heck? I should have said don't no take back these first. Uh, this girl. Hello? Totally broke my heart, no worries. You go on and help him. Set up more traps in the meantime. Right. less mad but she got so upset she tired herself out man i keep forgetting to read it at the start ah makes me have more respect for manly badass hero holy shit i thought ha i really thought for a while that if i actually tried to follow what other people said i'd get the right kind of eyes on me it's really hard to think for yourself after all when you make your own decisions if things go badly the fault lies in you so why didn't things turns out well why was everyone still getting mad at me wasn't I doing what they asked? Why couldn't they just look at? Not that it matters anyhow anymore. Hey, I have another question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? <laughs> sure, shoot. Where's your hatchet? You always killed with a hatchet. Even when your other little trademarks came and went, there was always, always a hatchet. 
I thought it was kind of odd you hadn't been using it up until now, but figured Courtney took you by surprise, so killing her with a knife was just convenient. It's quicker to saw through bones with an actual saw, but we're on a time crunch. But I feel like it's a little too absent. I don't know. I don't have to answer me. Hell, I'm just some fangirl you met earlier this morning. But if I'm right on as you're reaching, then why you're not using the hatchet? Hey, for real now. We're never going to actually succeed in hiding this body, are we? I don't think you ever thought you were going to, even on your own. Before this, all your killings were far, far from the city. That's probably how you managed to get away with it all, right? Perfectly controlled. So in a situation like this, probably isn't ideal. You probably thought you could hide in the city, huh? So many people, and no one's looking for a country bumpkin killer in concrete. Pretty lucky that anyone's looking at all, huh? Hey, K Pearl. I use the hatchet because it's what I'm most comfortable with, that's all. There was nothing special about it, it's just a tool. But, well, like you said, kind of said, it became a signature. It became recognizable. Isn't that part of the point to a lot of serial killers, though? To have one, so people know who you are? You're a symbol for all freaks. There's, like, drama on forums about you. Guys getting way too much attention, really. No, I hate that shit. I prefer if no one had found any of my bodies. Ah, look, all due res with all due respect, but I never wanted to involve anyone else, especially not someone like you. Huh? Someone like me? The hell's that supposed to mean? Someone so desperate to be found. <laughs> I guess it's a little more ironic then. Ah, uh, uh, we were in the middle of something. Hey, don't shout. Just give me a sec. Okie dokie. No, I have to save my girlfriend. Stupid. Look at the Oh shit. Okay, when I- Okay, come on. Don't ignore the damsel in distress. You- You shoved him into the bear trap. Damn, good work. Oh my god, is that praise? For me? It's my lucky day. Whoa! Hey, watch it with that lame stain. I I'll freaking kill you! Look out! Eep, your hatchet! Damn, guess taking him out wasn't- won't be so easy. Well, this'll hurt, but give me a sec with him, man. No, wait a second! I've got a way better way dealing with this. Come on! D don't ignore me! I'll kill you for what you did to Courtney! Do you hear me? I'll kill you! They'll all know what you did. What you did to- oh god. What the- Six. Okay, this place sells gas, right? I mean, it's a gas station. And lighters, gas and lighters, can you get those? Quickly, why don't you? Hey, I can not hold two items at once, why not? Store policy. I think we can ignore that rule for now, okay? Gas and lighters, okay. Gas? Oh no, oh yeah, it's lighters. I ended up not having to use the six. Got them. Perfect. It's just a matter of spreading this around and then... Alrighty, I think we're set for Soren. Just need to be careful we don't blow up her alongside of it. Well, don't light it in here, obviously. Do it once we're outside. Let's kill them. Let's cat down, okay? Set. Three. Two. Just throw it. Okay, okay! Did you seriously not... Wow. Brandon's probably super dead, isn't he? Probably. That upgrades you from serial killer assistant to killer, so I guess congrats are in order. Not serial killer, though? Well, it was only one guy, so no. Ha, <laughs> you've got a point. Shit. No, 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 no. What is it? My baby! My guitar! I never put it back into my case after putting all the traps in there. Ah, oh, I could just throw up. This sucks. Uh, there, there. If it's any comfort, I'll probably never get my hands back on my hatchet. Oh my god, you're right. I guess I get to share a deeply traumatizing loss with my favorite person. <laughs> that almost makes it worth it. Yippee! I'm still really bummed, actually. I figured. You know, all that stuff I said about not being able to hide a body, 
I didn't really account for completely destroying it as an option. Things just work out that way sometimes. Hey Grizz, we're gonna need to figure out a better name for you to call me than that. What you gonna be doing now? I'm freshly unemployed and well, no longer hidden, right? Something like that. Well, uh, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Worst in the world or not, it's inconvenient right now. Did you kind of want that though? I mean, going to the city is like hiding a tree in a forest, sure. But you're still going to be perceived a lot more by people than if you were toughing it out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe, maybe too much attention is an ideal, especially for someone like you. But being perceived by those closest to you, that's good, right? At least, I want to believe it's good. Hey Grizz, yeah? Do you want to join my band for real? Wow, uh, okay. That was good. Hello, Duncan! We are Death of Venus. Saying it excitedly under her breath. Very, very pumped to be performing live here today. We will be giving you the show of a lifetime. Now, a drum roll for our newest member on drums, the Bear! Alright, that was a pretty good game.